Well, tis the season to emerge from brumation. As the temperatures warm up, desert tortoises are coming out of their burrows. It is the perfect time to educate the public about caring for these reptiles who are most at risk of disease in captivity. 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro introduces us to Delta. He's awaiting surgery for a preventable health condition. I got a special guest for you today. Students at Pinecrest Academy in Sparata listen closely, learning about the do's and don'ts of having a pet well, desert tortoise. If they dig a burrow, then what is their shell for? Their curiosity about five-year-old Delta, a prehistoric animal, is welcoming news to Daniel Freeman. This is the first time he's fostering a desert tortoise, and he has his work cut out for him. So there's a lot more to it than just buying a bag of dog food. Their, their diet is very specific and their, their housing is also very important. Important because a lack of education often leads to diseases and illnesses. After taking in Delta, a visit to the vet revealed a bladder stone the size of a pinball. We hear stories all the time of somebody feeding a tortoise strawberries or uh, cantaloupe or something like that. Simple rule, go out to Lake Mead, go out to Red Rock, do you see strawberries growing out there? No. Kobe Shaw with the tortoise group says between 30 to 32 percent of pet desert tortoises get bladder stones compared to about one percent in the wild. Another sign of a poor diet is a lumpy shell. Disease is very prevalent in the pet population because in your backyard that tortoise gets a constant supply of food and water. Whereas in the, in the wild that tortoise might go for an entire year without drinking water. Did they eat today? Oh. The group doesn't know where Delta came from, but they know he's now in good hands. The desert tortoise will have surgery next month. Thank you guys for being so nice to Delta today. Karen Castro, 8 News Now. They are such cool pets. Well, Tortoise Group is fundraising to pay for Delta surgery. Visit LasVegasNow.com for more information on how you can help. The nonprofit is also looking for people who want to adopt or foster desert tortoises. On average, they take in about 1,500 of them a year. And I also have a desert there tortoise that we adopted from Tortoise Group. They're, they're really cool cool pets. Yes, and they are definitely different than the desert tortoises in the wild because yes, we're absolutely. not allowed to touch or mess around with those guys. Yeah. And we're still waiting for Mojave Max, the desert tortoise, to wake up from his yeah. brumation so kids can still enter that contest at MojaveMax.com and win prizes. I would have already lost that contest. <laughs> I would have said he should have been out by now. Absolutely. Well, it's going to be warm enough for desert tortoises anywhere to wake up, Christy, and take a look out.